Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Robin and this is Knotting Hook Crochet and today we are going to make this choker necklace. So what you will need is some crochet thread. I'm going to use Aunt Lydia's crochet thread in a size 3 which is equivalent to a one weight super fine. This is 100% cotton and I picked these up. It came in a three pack off of Amazon for like $9. You will also need, if you're using this size thread, a 2.75 millimeter crochet hook. And this is my clover hook. And speaking of that, Nick, you can tell if your hooks are clover or generic at the very end here on the same size same side of the hook that shows the size it'll say clover at the bottom it's hard to see but it is it is embossed you'll be able to to tell there you will need some ribbon crimps you'll need two of those some jump rings and an extender chain I also picked up this little kit off of Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. And of course the clasp, but the kit came with all of that and the, the crimps in all kinds of different sizes. And then of course the appropriate tools to be able to work with those jump rings, scissors, and a yarn needle, a smaller one than this one, but a yarn needle to work in your yarn, and a measuring tape. So to get started, we're going to make a slip knot and chain in multiples of nine. So for me, with this size thread and hook, I'm going to chain 72. So for you to decide how many chains that you need to make for your necklace to fit you, measure your neck, measure the chain. But keep in mind with your ribbon crimps, you have a two inch extender chain. So you want to make it just a little bit smaller than the actual size of your neck. So once you've completed your chain, starting from the second chain in the hook, you will do a row all the way back to the other side of single crochet. So once you've completed your return row of single crochet, chain one, turn your work, Make a single crochet in the very first stitch. Chain three. Skip a stitch and make one single crochet. In the next four stitches. After your four single crochets, chain three, skip a stitch, make a single crochet, chain three, skip a stitch, make a single crochet, chain three, skip a stitch and make a single crochet.
So it should look like that. You're going to do three more single crochets. Chain three, skip a stitch, and single crochet. And do that two more times, chain three, skip a stitch, and single crochet. Chain three skip a stitch and single crochet. And then three single crochets. And we repeat that pattern all the way to the end, our very last stitch. we should end with a single crochet. It'll end with one loop and a single crochet. So chain three, sing, skip a stitch, single, chain three, skip a stitch, single, chain three, skip a stitch, four single crochets, and repeat with the, the loops. All right, so I've made it to the end. And it should look something like this. Now we want to chain three, turn, and single crochet in the very first chain three loop. chain five, and single crochet in that next chain three loop, skipping over all the single crochets, chain three, single crochet in the next loop, chain three, single crochet in the next loop, then chain five to jump over the single crochets, single crochet in the first loop, chain three, single crochet into the next loop, chain three, single crochet in the next loop, chain five to jump over the singles, and you repeat that all the way to the end of your row. When you get to the end, you'll single crochet into the loop and then double crochet into the very last stitch. Okay, so I'm at the end. I've done my single crochet into the loop and now a double crochet. into the single crochet of the row below. So now, this is how we're looking. Okay, so this next row is the last row. You're gonna chain one, turn your work, and at the top of that double crochet you just did, do a single crochet. Into this chain five loop, we're gonna do four double crochets. It's one, two, three, 
four. Now you're going to do a chain three pico. So that's one, two, three, and slip stitch right into the top of that last double crochet. Without dropping your stitch like I just did. And then do four more double crochets into that same chain five loop. That's three. And four. Single crochet into this first loop here. Chain three. single crochet into the next loop and then start over with your double crochets four double crochet That's one two three four chain three for your pico And four more double crochets into that same chain five space. Single crochet into the first loop, chain three. Single crochet into the next loop. And start over with your double crochets. And you're going to repeat that all the way to the end of the row. And I will meet you back when I get there. So when you get to the end of your row, your last stitch should be a single crochet into the chain three, turning chain from the row below. And then So that's the hard part. And I will say that uh, if you're not used to working with the crochet thread, it does handle just a little bit different. At least I think it does. So we've got this part done. Isn't that pretty? Now we need to work in our ends. Okay, so my ends are worked in. Now I need to pick out what size ribbon crimp that I want to use. And like I said, this little kit comes with assorted sizes. That one looks pretty good. That one, that one is like 15 millimeters or one and a half centimeters. All right, so then we need a couple jump rings and a chain. Let's open it up. So put our clasp on there. Close the ring back up. chain close it back up so 
So these are these are real simple to attach. You don't need a special tool. The only reason you need the tools is to be able to fumble with those uh, jump rings because those can uh, become quite frustrating if you don't have the proper tools. So you're just going to take your ribbon crimp and come over the end of your work. Make sure you're tucked in there real good and pinch. You don't need a special tool for that part. Pinch it down real good. Make sure that you're, um, that you put this all the, make sure that you put this all the way in there so that it has something to grab onto when you squeeze it closed. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so that is all there is to it. It's pretty quick. Um, even with trying to explain as I went, this took less than 40 minutes. Probably a 30-minute project if I wasn't trying to talk and concentrate at the same time. So that, that's something to keep in mind, guys. When you're watching someone do a tutorial and they kind of hesitate with their speech, it's because they are trying to concentrate. It's not because they don't know what they're going to say next. They're trying to concentrate on what they're doing and show you the proper way. So this is my choker, and I'll put links in the description down below of the supplies that I used in case you're in an area like I am where you don't have a whole lot of shopping options and you have to rely on Amazon quite a bit. So, yeah. And on that note, we're going to say farewell for the day, and we will see you over here in the next video.